Hey guys, this is Eddie, and guess what? I succumbed to the suggestions of getting these on tapes. What's an on tape? Well, in the US, if you're not uh, from here, um, we have a chain, uh, superstore chain called Walmart. And um, <laughs> these are still brand new tapes, you can see. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. I'm trying to focus. And it still says, um, you know, copyright 2018 Walmart on is a trademark of Walmart Incorporated, all rights reserved. Uh, and it is made in China. So, these are the other new tapes that you can still purchase. Okay. And, uh, you know, we hear mixed bags. Some people say, mm, they're, you know, some people say they're decent and then some people say they're not that great. So I decided to purchase one. It's about $4, just under $4 before taxes. This is what they look like. Very plain looking. So I'm gonna open them up. Oh, that's interesting. Even though there's a little line on it, it doesn't, there's actually nothing there to help with the peeling. See, it's just coming off like that. Oh, never mind. I guess it is. Wasn't coming off right, though. It's super light and really cheap feeling. And they were, they also sold a, um, on a shoebox tape player or tape recorder that also has this tape on the box of it. Thing that it was sold separately so apparently they are trying to um, get into the whole cassette thing too so. <clears throat> and then here's the cassette itself completely clear except for where it says side A and side B. Okay. The, um, what do you call the sh reel? Let me see if I can zoom in. Uh, can you guys see? I, uh, well, I'm going to have to move this, I guess. But um, yeah, it's um, yeah, I'm right by my keyboard. So it's uh, it's a clear shell. It is screwed. Here, let me do this. Back to the old black chair, okay? <laughs> so there, because the rear camera is better than the front one. So you guys can see this is what the um reels look like i've never seen those before and there's the guide rollers it is a screwed shell as i said before and it is going around a peg and it's a white leader the tape doesn't look the tape pack doesn't look very smooth at all let me get a big pen really quick. All right, so I'm doing this one-handed. <laughs> so forgive me. Let's see where the tape actually meets. All right, so let's go further. And is it shiny? Let me check really quick. 
for my with my own eyes and I mean it's reflective but it's not smooth it's almost looking at a circus warp one of those warped circus mirrors funhouse mirrors Let's go further along in the tape. Is it any better? No, not really. And it's actually super thin. <laughs> but you guys were complaining that there's no 90 minute tapes, brand new tapes. All of them are C60s. Well, look, we have a 90 minute brand new tape. Great. Let's see how it sounds. All right, so I'm back to my stereo stack and I am going to be using the JVC TD V661 first. I'll fast forward it a little bit. Dolby is off. Let's hear the hiss. And turn on Dolby B. Okay, let's go ahead and turn on Dolby C. Okay, it's a pretty hissy tape. So let's calibrate. So right now I'm making sure it's at the level zero or center, I mean. And the level is super low. It's not a very sensitive tape. So let's bring the level up. And guess what? That's the highest I can go. And it is that terrible. The bias is right on. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on with it all the way up and it's dropping back down. If I give it negative bias, everything else goes up. And then it goes back down. <laughs> all right, I wanna to try to see if I can bring it back down. And then all of a sudden, it looks like everything was fine. I leave it alone and it starts dropping down on its own. The tape is inconsistent. It's very inconsistent. Look, it's going back up on its own. So that's no bueno. Can't calibrate this at all. All right, so let's see what the ZX7 can make out of it. Well, first of all, let's set it to the right settings, 120 milli microseconds, EX, Dolby turned off, okay. It's not detecting anything. So let's bring up the level. Now it's seeing it because the level. All right, let's bring this back down. <laughs> Come on, stay put. So stay put. Yeesh. This is asthma. This is correct. It's 
Look at that. It's just moving around. <laughs> All right, whatever. Let's see if the bias works out. Can we calibrate this? I'm all the way at the right. There's no, there's nothing I can do. I can't push it to the right anymore. So that's it for the right side. Let's see if I can fine tune the left. Nah, it's all wonky guys. It's, it's, it's all over the place. Yeah, this is not gonna sound very good, but I mean, Let's see, shall we? Let's go ahead and hit record. There you go to the fourth track. I'll put the track name down below. <laughs> Track three.
I think that's enough. Dropout City. I mean, it doesn't look like it will physically harm your deck, but then again, we don't know what the chemical composition of this is. Who knows what kind of binder they use? I mean, it doesn't look overly sandpapery-ish, but still, I'm glad I saved the receipt because I'm definitely returning this. <laughs> there's just no use for these. And there's no nostalgia value, so there's absolutely no reason to keep these around. Maybe they're good for, for taping uh, voice, and that's about it. And uh, that shoebox recorder that, they, uh, that they're selling. <laughs> Maybe the perfect candidate for these. But uh, yeah, don't buy these. <laughs> That's it. That's the lesson for the day. Um, if you like my videos, please subscribe and hit that notification button. I usually don't uh, say that enough, but uh, <laughs> since this video is relatively short. <laughs> and, um, you know, look forward to another video, I guess, whenever that will be. <laughs> And for those Americans, happy Thanksgiving. See ya. Bye. All right, bit of a bonus video. You guys know that this Sony duck has a auto calibration. So let's see if it can auto calibrate to something like this, which is very inconsistent. Still gonna sound like crap though, I'm sure. <laughs> all right, that was all.